Hi there, my crafty friends. It's Ashley Pfeiffer of the Maker Behind Stamp Day F coming at you with another video. Um, I have a cold. I'm just going to start by saying that right now. Uh, this is my product of the week video for, let's grab the calendar. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is for August 26th through September 1st. So if you order the Cuckoo For You bundle with me in that week, I'll have the dates in the video, then you will get a special little something. So if you haven't given this bundle some attention, I, one, I can't blame you. I saw it in the annual catalog on the plane ride home and one of the women I was sitting beside is like, oh my God, I need to have that. And I'm like, meh. I have no connection to cuckoo clocks but spoiler alert there is something in the holiday catalog that will convert you so i had to get it now this is the sample that they use this is interactive and i'll show you this was the first sample i made today and i was just giddy with it so all you have to do you've got your arrow to push up push up and then the door opens and it says hello you now, I will also warn you, I've received one of these from a friend in the U.S. and I pulled it too much and it broke. So, it's not a, <laughs> it's not a toy. Anyways, I use the interactive feature this time for both the door and the hand. So, I used a brad so that you can move the time around. And then on the inside, because we know I neglect the inside... Doesn't want to open. I'm cuckoo about you with the little bird. Isn't that sweet? And then I use the pine wood planks embossing folder and the little like pine cone weights that come in the set. So yeah. I'm hoping that once you see what I do with this sweet or this bundle this week, that you two are gonna have to have it. So there will be this video today. There will be a Facebook Live on Wednesday, and there will also be uh, another Creating for Christmas video on Friday. So you can see there's a Christmas tree, there's a reindeer, there's something for every season in this bundle. So this one is, um, I guess, kind of Christmassy. I mean, you could put the tree and the reindeer on there. I just didn't want to have too much brown. Now the one that we're going to make in this video is this little guy. So I use the squirrel as like the tab. And I've got every light in my room on, so um, unfortunately it's not gonna get much better than this. But that hello you is the only sentiment in that bundle that actually fits in that little door, which is too bad. I wish there were more, but we I wanted to show you that you can use different things for your tab and your weights. So I used leaves this time and a squirrel and I just colored it differently. And I also used Sahara Sand so that I didn't have to do as much coloring. And I've got a fun one planned for Wednesday's Facebook Live, so you're gonna wanna tune in to that. So I'm just gonna grab a card base and a card mat, and I'll be right back. And while I was away, Puppy stole my chair. So I'm using Soft Suede as my card base, so I'm going to score it at five and a half, and then cut it at four and a quarter. Okay, so that is good to go. We can just set that aside. So this is what we are going to do our stamping on. Uh, we're gonna do the birch background on here, so we'll do that quickly. So while I'll be getting the Stamparatus out to do the stamping, because really you do not wanna leave this to a block. There are so many little pieces to this stamp. You're definitely gonna want the Stamparatus. I also wanted to show you, I mentioned that I used the interactive die cut hands on this one. I just stamped them on this one. So you have those options. So I'm going to get my Cajun Craze ink because I'm using Cajun Craze cardstock. And this is actually, only the second time I've used this stamp pad. First time was earlier today, and let me tell you that puppy was hard to open. So I'm not gonna use the Stamparatus here. I'm just gonna ink it up in its case. And this will work with any background stamp. I'm gonna place that down. Look, it matches perfectly with the stamp. I'm just using a scrap of grid paper that I have here and I'm just going to rub 
over the surface of the stamp. This is just so that I avoid getting ink on my fingers. And there we go. It looks like it moved a little bit, but that's okay. You're not gonna notice the birch background too much. It'll be the cuckoo clock, but it does give it a nice little something in the background. So we can set that piece aside as well. So now we are ready to stamp. Sorry about that light glare. It is a rainy day, so it's super dark outside, and I needed all the artificial lighting I could get. This is just a scrap of Sahara sand that I'm using, but I want to be able to get all my stamped images on this same piece of cardstock. We are going to be coloring with blend, so we'll use Memento. Okay, so now the rest we can just use clear blocks for. I just stamp one of my squirrels. door. Isn't this the cutest little door? It reminds me of a little um, like mouse door from Tom and Jerry. It's so cute. Okay, we need two of these weights as well and I am going to ink up the whole thing because I ended up basically just placing the leaves on there and then cut off whatever was showing just so that it had something to hold on to. I was hoping to fit all of this on one piece. We do have the mechanism and that is not going to fit on here, but I think we have everything else that we need. Now I am going to stamp my little cuckoo right in here. The first card that I did, I die cut it, but it might as well just be stamped right in there. Okay, and now we can get to coloring. We'll do the mechanism in a little bit. So you're going to want your soft suede, light and dark. Crumb cake, light, maybe the dark. Uh, I used pumpkin pie, dark. Old olive, light and dark. And I think that's it. I also used um, a Jelly Roll Gold marker, and you'll see that shortly. Whenever you're coloring with blends, you should work on a sheet of paper, just so that any extra ink goes comes back into your paper instead of bleeding out. Oh, I said it was raining. It just started pouring. Which means one of my dogs is going to be freaking out in no time. Okay, I'm just going to keep this here so that I do the same thing. Nothing fancy in my coloring, so I'm just going to skip through this part. You don't need to sit here and watch me color.
So these are the new style dies and they fit very close in comparison to the old style dies. You just want to line it up. And I like to cut out as many things as I can in one pass. So we can't do the squirrel because it's partly covered, but we can do all of these. I don't know that the door will fit either. Nope. Okay, so we'll run that through. Now we need just another little scrap of Sahara sand to finish off the last few pieces and a soft suede for the arms. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna do his little nose and this is just a black glaze pen. Okay, so we can throw that piece out. On this piece, we want to do another squirrel. You'll see why. We want to do our mechanism. And then we need to line this up. So if you've watched the Stampin' Up! video, Brian Pilling shows you that the two hearts are to line up. They don't actually cut out. It's just to line this up. So we're going to tape that there. And just have our little hands left. That's it. Now with this piece, it doesn't look like it does a whole lot, but this is an integral piece. So it cuts out that little notch just below the bird and then a little slot there. And you'll see that in use in just a moment. So I was saying in the beginning that you will, if you purchase this bundle with me this week, you will get a special little something. So that little something just happens to be part of this specific step. I'm just gonna poke that through, not my finger. Now with this stamp, you wanna just lay it down and let it flatten out for a moment before you use it because you don't want it going on your block all wonky. I'm using Memento because that's what I've used everywhere else. You just wanna stamp that on there so it shows the recipient that it does something. They have to do something in order to get this to do what it's supposed to do. Okay, now back to that step that I was talking about. So if you order this bundle with me this week, you can choose one color of Stampin' Blend, just one. Well, 
You could choose two. Or you can choose to get the metallic brads and one blend. It's up to you. Now for this part, I want to do it before we attach this. So you're just going to put your brad in that little hole. And then you're going to put it in there and you're going to determine where you want your clock to read. Let's say it's quarter to 12. And then you're going to put your brad down. These numbers won't move a whole lot if you make it super tight. So if you want it to move, then don't tighten your brad too much. Okay, now we're going to take this piece and we're going to put, hello you, if it would come off of my finger. So you want to stamp this before you would hear it. There we go. I know this seems really complicated, but once you've done one of them, you don't even have to think about it. That was part of what had deterred me, other than I don't really need cuckoo clocks. I have no real attachment. Um, okay, this one you want to fold in. Fold that down on itself. And then this one you want to fold back. Now in that little valley, you want to put some glue. That's probably too much. It's going to come squeezing out. But what I like to do is because this is cardstock, I like to sit it under something heavy. So I'm just going to lift and I let it sit for just a couple of minutes so that it can set. And while we're doing that, we will attach our leaves to these. Okay, and then being very careful because this is still very wet, we're just going to cut off any that you can see. But if we just used the circles, like the little chains, this would not be strong enough. Okay, our mechanism should be ready. So what you're going to do is with your arrow facing you, you're sorry, you're going to put that down and you want these little tabs to go down. Just very carefully pull on them. Okay. And now remember we want that part. See what it does. And now without folding it, you're just going to push it into there. And then this is how our mechanism works. So you can see what it's doing back there. And you can see also why you needed, we needed to put that brad in when we did. Now we can put some glue on here. Grab our door. There we go. And now we can get our card base and our birch mat our psychedelic birch mat because it moved. We're gonna put the, yeah, we'll still put it at the bottom. I trimmed this one down just a little bit more than I did on the last one. Okay, now on this one, I found I needed some extra height, so I have actually used two layers of dimensionals. I'm not sure if you'll even be able to see that. Maybe, but you're going to see me do it now. So and now we can add this on our card base. Now the last time I did this, I did it upside down. So I didn't want to make sure I'm on the right way. I want to make sure I'm centered. And now we can add some glue here. And I like to put it in these little 
in the dips. It's just a good way to make sure that they're centered. And now what we're going to do is put some tear and tape on this guy just in the center where that mechanism is going to touch and then we also want some on this one and this might be overkill but the last thing I want is to send this to someone and have them try it and it breaks so I mean that's what I did when I received it <laughs> I broke it. I loved it too much. So we're going to put this. I don't know what that is. I don't want it to go beyond my clock. right about there and then wherever there isn't tear and tape we're gonna add some glue just for insurance and then we're gonna pop this guy right on top of that first one and it sandwiches in our little tab so there we go hello you And that's all. So slight differences in this one. I mean, I use the stamped clock hands instead of the interactive ones, but pretty cute, isn't it? So I hope that you will consider purchasing this bundle this week. If you live in Canada, you can shop with me. This is only my special, so um, it's not a Stampin' Up! special. So if you live in Canada, I would love for you to order this with me this week and you can get either a combo pack of blends in your choice of colors or you can get a package of the Brad's and one Stampin' Blend. So not a combo pack, you can get the Color Lifter or the Ivory or the Bronze or if you're running out of one light or dark, you can do that. So if you have any questions, just shoot me an email at stampedaf at gmail.com. And that is all my crafty friends. Um, it is, there's one more week left of the extra extra promotion. So if you have ever thought of purchasing the starter kit, this is the week that you want to do it. You choose $205 in product for only $135. You can join my crafted AF team. And if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you've seen that I've been posting um, I'm halfway there, but I've been posting the top 10 reasons to join Stampin' Up! So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to uh, reach out. And we'll see you soon, my crafty friends. Bye!